Hi there, welcome to Ratio Team Mom. It's so lovely to connect. Um, today I'm going to talk about why you shouldn't teach your children what they're going to learn at school. Um, and um, I'm going to I'm going to whiz through it. But if you have any questions afterwards, just pop them down below, and I'll get to answering them. Life seems crazy busy at the moment. Um, and yes, I am aware I have a stain on my top, but it's five in the afternoon and I'm a mother and a children's therapist, so that's what I look like at this time of day. Anyway, okay, so why shouldn't you teach your children what they're going to learn at school? So there are a few reasons, um, and I see it happening all the time, and I think as parents, what we want to do is we want our children to be prepared, we want them to be um, sort of a foot forward. I think we're all a little bit competitive, well not all of us, but some of us, um, and we don't want our child to be the one at the back of the class, um, and so we really want them to, by the time they get there, to really be able to engage and to know. The problem is, well there are a few problems, but the first problem is that if you do teach your child what they need to know before the teacher teaches them, then by the time they get to school, they're actually quite bored. Um, and at first it's quite nice because they get to kind of lord it over their mates that they know and th their friends don't. But the truth is that, um, that it makes classwork boring for them because children are always looking for new and exciting things. And it's not new and exciting if you've practiced it and learned it already. Um, and then there's something else and that's to do with timing. So. Learning is a, it's a progressive uh, process and um, the teacher decides when to introduce new material. Um, and that's because the teacher knows that the foundation stuff needed for the new material has been done. And we're not always aware what has been done at school and what hasn't. And we're also not always aware what is foundation for what the child needs to learn. So it's all very well teaching your child how to read, how to do maths um, and counting and numbers and all of these things. but. It might be that the teacher is still working on the foundation for those skills. Um, and then not only that, it's also that the teacher has a certain way of teaching. And even if you are a teacher yourself, you might not be doing it the same way that the teacher is. And some of us can remember very well how we were taught, some of us not so much. Um, but doing it how you know it is not necessarily the way that your child will be taught it in class. And this can be quite confusing for, for children. Um, so what's best to do is wait for the teacher to teach it and then reinforce it with your child. So I'm all for incident, incidental learning with your children. I'm all for uh, teaching content and teaching intrigue and interest um, and knowledge um, and I'm all for them doing schoolwork outside of school hours but make sure what you're doing is not to try and get them a step ahead of the class rather consolidate what the teacher has done for them already you'll be setting them in far better stead to do that that'll make their foundation very very strong and so when the teacher builds on it um, they really have a good core on which to build um, so as much as it's tempting to try and get your child ahead and to get them onto learning apps and and um, into sort of activity books and that sort of thing. Um, try not to teach the child ahead of when your, your child's teacher does. Trust that you're sending your child to the school you want to send them to and they have a teacher that is good enough to do the job and will inspire learning and then you just run with that passion. Anyway, let me know your thoughts. Have a wonderful week further and we'll catch up again next week.